everybody. How the fuck are you doing today? That's good. That's good. Um, I wanted to do another video about another great question I got during the Poetic Anarchy Crash Course at the Sims Library of Poetry. This question was a good one, and it's something that um, I've wrestled with myself, and I know a lot of people do. And this question was, I'm having a problem with first thought, best thought. I find myself constantly wanting to go back and change lines. Is there something I should do about that, basically? And here's the answer. If you are really struggling when you write your poetry to constantly want to change things, and that is your process, I can't tell you not to do that. If you want to do that, then do that. If that makes you feel good about what you're doing, then do that thing. Okay, I think maybe the more you do this and the longer you're writing and the more consistently that you're writing, you might find that you kind of hit the right words as you're going. It's just really tricky because we don't really know why we pick the words that we pick, but that is part of our voice. Because here's the thing, if you're a very indecisive person, generally, like you, you never know what you want to have for dinner, you never know where you want to go um, when you go out, um, and, and this is like a constant like struggle, that might just be who you are. But what I want to remind you is if you are someone who is very indecisive, what do you always end up doing? you always end up eating the same fucking thing. You always end up going to the same fucking place. Okay? So, if you're indecisive in life, you will probably, I would guess, come back to about the same starting point that you had in your poem before you even started fucking with it. But the second thing I would ask you, because I think this is a, a bigger question than anything else. The question is, who are you writing for? Like when you write a poem, who are you writing it for? Are you writing it for yourself? Are you writing it to submit to some place? Are you trying to impress a certain type of reader? Like. Who are you writing for? Because if you're writing for yourself, then it shouldn't matter really which words you pick if you are just like bleeding out. You know what I'm saying? But if you are writing for a certain publication or if you're writing for a certain audience that is a little more picky about what they want to see, then I could understand, I guess, why you would want to, like, wrestle with those words to make sure that they are the best possible words. But the thing is, is that you're never going to know if those are the best possible words, because art is subjective. So at the end of the day, I don't know how much it really matters what words you pick when because people are still going to be able to decide if this was good or if this was shit. And one person might call it shit and the next person might think it's fucking genius. But we don't know. So who are you writing for? Once you answer that question and once you answer the indecisiveness question, then you'll be able to see what's going on and which way to move forward. Unless all of these things are known, I don't think there is a definitive answer on how to like, convince yourself that first thought, best thought, is always the best. It works for some people, it doesn't work for others. So that's the best advice I could give you guys on that one. I got books chapbooks, these guys, my Etsy shop, paperbacks and ebooks, my Amazon place, along with my fiction, Blood Rag, out now, 
check it out it's at my Etsy shop um, Poetic Anarchy again um, this it, November 1st the price is going up so if you want to get in at a um, low price you got to sign up before November 1st and there's over 70 videos um, that are members only for the Anarchy crew now live streams every Friday crew members only lots of projects including um the poetic anarchy volume three which will be out next month and we just did the one night thing and i'll talk about that at a later date because that was a shit ton of fun so everybody keep buying my books type hard I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video, and if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.